I gotta muscle these fish today because it's snaggy down there. This is a nice one. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Backwater X YouTube channel where we explore the backwaters, the streams, creeks, rivers, lakes, and bayous of the southeast and beyond. We're out on the river today in the kayak. The goal is to get on some catfish, some eaters, hopefully some channel cats. I'm gonna be fishing for brim the whole time as well. And if I'm able to get a couple of little brim, they're gonna be used as bait. And I'm gonna throw them out there and see if we can get on a gar or a flathead maybe got a decent amount of time to fish today we're gonna hit it really hard so I'm gonna get to the spot my first place that I'm gonna fish get tied off get some rods in the water and I'll see you then we're gonna put out some cut bait while we're waiting for the uh, while we're waiting for our live bait to come along Oh my God, this cut bait smells horrid. I think it got left out. Ho, 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 ooh. Ugh. Yeah, the catfish don't like that. Good grief. First fish of the day is on, baby. That's no brim, my friends. Oh, well, that's gonna be a channel cat. Almost undoubtedly, we got our first catfish of the day. Oh, it's gonna be a nice one, guys. This is gonna be a nice little channel cat. I have a hunch. Broke me off. Well, that's an interesting start. Definitely not what I was expecting. Guess I'm gonna have to get a little bit of drag going on this line. Crazy. Channel cat comes and smokes the brim line. We'll get our catfish rigs out. Getting what looks like a brim bite on the big ol' hook here. Oh no, that's a big fish. No, maybe not. Alright, we got a fish. Nice. I'm not gonna mess around with these guys and get them up here. And it's a channel. Sweet. That's a good one, guys. Nice little eater. About a pound and a half, two pound little channel cat. I'll take that all day. All day long. Sweet. All right, that's a start, baby. A little bit of revenge on that one that came and broke me off earlier. Nightcrawler gets it done. Ha ha. Beautiful little fish. First fish of the day, perfect little eater channel cat. That's a better fish. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're on again. <laughs> right. I gotta muscle these fish today because it's snaggy down there. This is a nice one, guys. Looks like it might be a little bigger than the last one. Hopefully it's another catfish and not a big old boat in. And it is. This is freaking awesome. Yeah. 
tangled himself up in my other line there, which is a little bit annoying. We'll deal with that. All right. Very similar in size to that last fish. A little bigger. All right. Wonderful. Well, let's take a look. Looks like night crawler is the bait today. I thought that stinky cut bait was going to get the job done, but it's like it's giving me the night crawler. All right, another excellent specimen of a channel cat. All right, on to the next spot. I like my odds. Finding some brim right here a little bit better. Feel like we got some good structure, better depth. I can play around with the, my positioning in the water column a little more. Looks like I got another brim messing with my with my catfish pole here. Yeah, that's got to be a brim. Doesn't seem big enough to be a cat. Once it bad, whatever it is, it's probably a small catfish. That's what I'm gonna guess. Maybe we can get a hook in him. Oh, I guess so. It's probably gonna be a small little catfish. Just not quite big enough to get really good fillets off of. It's your lucky day, little catfish. We're gonna put this guy back. There's a brim. All right, it is about time. All right, well, it feels like moving was a good choice. Let's see if there's any more of those down there. I feel like I probably need to check this worm because it's probably gone. Sure enough. I almost wonder if I should pull a fast one on these dudes here for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna put a tiny little hook on here with this big weight. See if I can trick one of these little bait stealers. Cause I just don't think those split shots are getting down to the bottom. I think the current's lifting them up. And it seems like maybe these little brim are feeding down on the bottom, so. There's another nice brim. Right. Starting to get some baits in the boat now, baby. Lots of cool looking fish. What is this? A little, a little bit different than the bluegills I normally see around here. It's got a really interesting spot pattern. A little bit bigger teeth than what I'm used to seeing on these guys. Look at that. Super cool little fish. I think I might have found a strategy here. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's a fish. Doesn't feel huge, probably gonna be a channel cat. Probably gonna be big enough to eat. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be big enough to eat. Not quite as big as the last couple, but that's an eater, my friends. Oh, it came off right when I caught it in the boat. 
I forgot that one was on the small little hook. All right. Action picked up a little bit there all of a sudden. Gotta be careful with that tiny little hook. All right, another nice little channel. Smaller than the last ones. Oh, this, this pole's already going off. Brim, I think. Or a tiny, tiny little cat, one of the two. That is a little bass. <laughs> Alright. Little bass. Got him. It's gonna be another nice little channel cat. Small, mostly. I don't know if I want to fillet that little thing. I think I'll let this one go. Little channel. All right, let's move along to another spot here. Wait a minute. I'll try this. Here we go. I can live with that. Pink sunfish, look at that. <laughs> That's a nice one, man. That's an eater. I don't even think I'm gonna use that one as bait. That's hand size, pan size right there, baby. Look at that thing. That's a great catch. All right, that was sweet. There's a fish. If it's a brim, it's a tank. <clears throat> oh, and it is. Because there are some big, big bluegills right here. Wow, that's even bigger than the last one. Another epic bluegill. Look at that thing. Well, I wanted to catch brim to use as bait. But there's no way I could. Uh, there's no way I could use that thing as bait. It's gonna be it's just too delicious. All right, y'all. I think it's time to go stick these these two little bluegills on a popping cork. See if we can catch something big. I've been messing around for like four hours trying to catch a brim. We caught some. All right. Well, the spot I was gonna post up is occupied, so. I'm gonna come hang out over here. There's some people over here too, but they're not fishing. They're just looking for shark's teeth. So I don't think they'll mind if I pull up and put some lines in the water. All right, there we go. First big fish bait of the day. Those are the people that were just in the spot where I wanted to be. So if this doesn't work out, I'll be able to whip over there now. Not too bad, how are y'all doing? Good. I got a few catfish in the bag and a couple big brim. Yeah, I'm gonna toss one of these brims on a cork and see if I can catch me a big gar. Will I be messing you guys up if I head over to this corner over here? Awesome, thank you. Both of them on night crawlers. Night yeah. Yeah, I had some real good stinky cut bait. Nothing's touched the cut bait all day. But those night crawlers were getting tore up this morning. Uh, yeah.
Well, y'all, I think it's time to pack it in. We had a good run today. Got started on looking for big fish a little late. We'll get them next time. And next time we will come prepared and try to have a half dozen or so little bluegills caught in advance. This is fun. It was great to get back out on my local river today. Got a nice bag of fish to cook up. It's gonna make for a great meal. All right, what's up everybody? So it's time to cook up our fish. I'm just gonna make this super quick. First things first, I'm out in the garden. I'm just gonna pick a bell pepper. We got a yellow squash and an onion, and we're gonna throw a bell pepper in there as well, the saute. So pick a fresh bell pepper from the garden. And then we're just gonna do a super simple oven baked fish recipe. There's not much to it at all. It's pretty quick and it's good with almost any kind of fish. So let's find us a good bell pepper. All right, so here's one of our bell pepper beds. And I think these are gonna be our most mature bells. There's a couple really nice ones there. But those, as you can see, are red bell peppers. And they're not ready yet. And check this out. We got some little baby watermelons coming along here. Awesome, can't wait for those. But these guys, these purple bells, are ready to rock. So you've got a handful of them in here. Let's see, I think that's probably the biggest one. So let's give that guy a twist. I didn't bring my little pruning shears like I should have. There it is. All right. Awesome purple bell pepper to go in the saute. There's Hans, our little garden guardian. What's up, Hans? So, check out those other beds. Everything's doing really well. We're on a lot of bell peppers this year. Those are all cucumbers right there. As you can see, we're gonna have a bunch of cukes. Got all these gigantic jalapenos going on. Some tomatoes, a couple different kinds. Maybe we'll do a full, a full blown garden. There's some okra, more tomatoes over there. There's a bunch of bell peppers in that bed as well. Everything's looking awesome. All right, so here we go. Let's get back inside. Let's cook up this fish. All right, here are all of the ingredients for the topping for these fish. Parsley and green onions, Parmesan, panko breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, salt and pepper. We're gonna mix all that together into this bowl. And there are our fish fillets. You know those ones with the yellow, those are those channel cats. We got three channel cats and two bluegills on here. Three quarters cup of Parmesan. Three quarters cup of panko. Three chopped green onions. A few sprigs of parsley. Three tablespoons of butter. And three tablespoons of mayo. Brush your baking sheet with butter. And then add your fillets. Mix together your topping. And then we're just gonna spread this over the top of the fish. Put it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now it's gonna go in the oven on 400 degrees for 25 minutes or so. All right, chopped veggies are in the wok with some butter. We're gonna hit them with some Everglades seasoning. Fish is looking incredible. Food is ready. Let's serve it up. All right, there's our finished product. Looks incredible. All right, guys, just finished eating dinner. That was so freaking good. I don't like to film myself eating, so I didn't. But man, you gotta try that dish. 
if you don't like fish very much, seriously, try that. You'd have to be a weirdo to not think that was like fantastic. Really, really, really good. I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Can't wait to make that again. I've done it once before. It did not turn out as good as it turned out tonight. I think cooking it on 400 for about 25 minutes is the ticket because it was just so crunchy. And also use fresh Parmesan. Not like the powdered stuff. That fresh Parmesan was a game changer. Man, that was good. I got a couple more catfish in the bag from a trip I had today, which you guys will be seeing soon. I literally might make that same meal twice in a row. It was that good. But anyways, guys, I'm stuffed. That was so good. And this was a great adventure. Awesome fishing trip. Awesome meal. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more content just like this coming down the pipe. And as always, guys, fish hard.